Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for another weekly Oracle and Tarot card reading. And this reading will be covering the week of May 21st through the 27th. We're using the Magical Messages from the Fairies uh, by Doreen Virtue. And let's get started with the reading. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. Beginning of the week, we'll take a card from the top, get some exercise. For the middle of the week, we have autumn. And the end of the week, we have spiritual teacher. Okay, so we have get some exercise, okay? So maybe some of you need to get out, go for a walk. Go for a walk, maybe go for a bike ride. Um, do something to get yourself up and out okay it's great to be outside to be in nature it's so grounding people don't realize we sit in the house all day long we may be sitting at a desk at a job we may be sitting in the car quite a bit we need to get out we need to get our cardiovascular going we need to get our blood flowing exercise is so important and a lot of people just aren't getting it they're living a sedentary life where they're not getting enough. You'd be surprised that, you know, when you exercise, your brain releases endorphins. They're a feel-good hormone that is uh, able to give you a sense of peace and calmness. It reduces or eliminates anxiety. So when you exercise, you're doing something good for yourself. When you're done, even like I said, a walk, even going walking, it clears your mind. And the card is saying, as your body becomes stronger, you begin to feel stronger in all ways. Exactly. So when you're going for a walk or you're doing an exercise routine, okay, you're doing what's right for your body. You're not allowing it to deteriorate and just let it go. And the benefits of physical exercise has a lot of benefits to you mentally as well. Just giving you that sense of peace and calmness and reducing stress and anxiety is definitely a better way to strengthen your body and your mind. I exercise five days a week. I'm not really an exercise fanatic, but I know that that's what's right for me. And I do feel such a sense of calmness and peace. And if I don't get a chance to exercise, I, I feel it. I don't feel as grounded. So try to do something simple as maybe going for a walk every day. And then we have autumn. Okay, and this card is saying, in the fall season, everything comes together and you will reap wonderful harvests of abundance. So yeah, a few weeks ago, we were planting seeds. We had the green light to do something. And it's perfect because it's springtime. And this is telling you by autumn, you're going to be able to reap a wonderful harvest, a positive harvest for the positive actions and the positive thoughts that you put into action. Can't just sit around thinking positive all day, thinking positive things are going to happen. We need to put positive action behind those words. And this is telling you, that if you're going to be doing positive things where you already have planted seeds or it's not too late to plant them now, get something started. Maybe it's going to be a fitness routine. Okay. Maybe it's going to be a better way of thinking where you're going to be thinking positive and you're going to remove those negative thoughts. You're going to make a habit of monitoring your thoughts all day. Or maybe you're branching out into a hobby or field of study. Whatever it is, it's going to bear fruit in the fall. And then the last card is spiritual teacher. How beautiful. She's sitting there and she has all these animals surrounding her. This reminds me of a painting I have at my home called A Midsummer's Dream, where there's these fairies and all of these animals and fairies are centered around and it's like a forest scene. And this card here, spiritual teacher, says your life purpose involves teaching others about healing and spirituality. So yes. Yes, we're helping ourselves to help others. We all, and I say this all the time, we all have experiences that other people could benefit from if we share those experiences. You may want to consider writing a book. You may want to consider doing YouTube videos. I'm here to share whatever experience I've had that may be able to help others along their path or in life in general. I've been through a lot in my life and I've gained this wisdom because of the rough times that I've had to deal with. 
And I'm so thankful for it because it's made me the person I am now. And it has made me so strong. The moments that were hurtful and bittersweet and everything that had to happen the way it was, it was all for my highest good. But you don't realize those things when you're going through it. So many of you out there could possibly share your experiences to help other people and become a spiritual teacher. We all have something to share. We've all had our good times, our bad times, and everything in between. And what I get from spirit here is you're planting seeds. You're watching these videos. I know we're all doing work on ourselves for self-improvement. You're going to start seeing some, some of these seeds bear fruit in the fall. This is telling you that if you ever thought of being a healer or spiritual teacher, this is the green light. This is the green light. So what a beautiful week this will be. We're going to get out and get some exercise. Okay. We're going to get ourselves uh, stress-free. We're going to uh, get those, those endorphins and those feel-good hormones going. So we're going to be more relaxed. Okay, and it's a good thing to do this early in the week because, boy, the week could really pick up speed as far as, you know, what our responsibilities are. The work week could be very hectic. And uh, planting the seeds, you're going to see it bear fruit in autumn. And don't hold back. Share what you have to share in whatever way you can help people. Maybe it's starting out just doing something in your community, maybe volunteering to do something. What a beautiful week. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be